Well, it's important for me to just confirm that I am not condoning criminal damage uh, in any way. And uh, I've raised concerns about the dangers of mass gatherings uh, for weeks, but certainly over the last week and a half uh, in particular. And I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned about the potential uh, for, for a second COVID wave um, in Bristol that would disproportionately impact black and brown people. Um, but I, again, I, I won't pretend that you know the statue wasn't offensive and to walk around that statue, to have it in the middle of the city with a plaque on it that talks about a wise and virtuous son of the city uh, when he made his money from kidnapping, uh, from death, from, from that kind of exploitation uh, was, was, was very hard. Well, we need to retrieve the, the statue, uh, look at the damage, um, and it will highly likely go into one of our museums. But that, that will also be part of that statue's journey, um, that you know, it, it was put up some hundred or so years ago, um, it was torn down, it has been damaged, and, and all the dents and so forth will form part of that, that statue's uh, story now. But um, you know, it was a, you know, an incredible moment, and when I say incredible, that's not a value judgment of good and bad, it was something uh, to be seen, hence the story's gone you know, around the world, and it was Bristol people, there were divided views on it, there were some people who feel um, quite hurt by it um, in the city, and my job as a political leader is to understand where people are coming from, to understand those that tore it down, and I, you know, I clearly have some understanding, but also to understand and to continue to remain connected to those people that, that feel hurt that it's been torn down or feel annoyed that it's been uh, uh, torn down. And that's how we build complicated cities and build unity rather than division, as we've seen in, 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 in other parts of the world.